What's up guys, welcome back to the Shop Mini RC. I'm Ken and today we are looking at the new OGRC tires. These guys look like they're gonna be awesome. They've been sitting on our desk for a little bit and we don't know what to put them on yet and we've got a plan for these, we're just not there yet. And so we just haven't gotten around to showing them, but we've had them for a while and we definitely just wanna get them out there and finally show everybody what they're about. So the first ones we're gonna look at are these guys. These are the AT Pros. They are 54 by 19 by 1. And they are 19 millimeters wide. So these are the smallest, I believe they're the small, yeah, they're the smallest of the three. Actually, I guess these are the exact same size. These guys, the um, Rock and Trail Pros are the same size. Look at this though, I wanna show you something. That's how sticky they are. Come on guys, look at that. No magic there, they're just that sticky. Now, obviously, once you get dirt on them and whatnot, it's gonna not be quite as sticky, but uh, <laughs> that's a thing. These tires come with dual stage foams, which is basically just like an outer softer foam with an inner harder foam. And that should give you some decent dual stage. I wish that this uh, inner foam that's the harder foam was a little wider, a little thicker. I think they uh, were cautious on how wide they made it so that it didn't affect the bead. But uh, it could have been a little bit thicker, just to give you a little bit more of that first heavier stage. The tread pattern's pretty aggressive. I mean, they call them all trains, but they look like they'd do pretty good for crawling. They definitely feel sticky. I mean, that's a sticky tire, guys. The uh, old OGRCs, we actually have a set right here with the white labels. While I love the look of these, these are very much not sticky, like not at all. So that's kind of uh, no good. I mean, they won't even, nothing. Um, but these new ones, man, I tell you what, these are no joke. So we're not going to run any of these new tires in this video. I just wanted to show you how sticky they were, tell you the different stats, and uh, show you the tread patterns, show you the dual stage, kind of get you familiar with them. And as we put these on rigs, we will definitely show them. So you're going to need to like, subscribe, share, but at least like and subscribe. Maybe hit that notification bell so that you know when those new videos that show these tires being used on whatever rigs they go on uh, are up so you can see those rock and trail pros i like these patterns a lot these are very familiar um but these are also 54 by 19 by 1.0 actually interesting the website oh no that's right 54 by 19s yeah these are also 54 by 19s these look a little bigger but apparently they are not so these are actually a little bit more rounded look at that i don't know if you can see it these are a little more squared off, especially when you get past the lugs and you look at the inside of the tire. These look a little bit more rounded in there. Now, the ones I'm really excited about, these also have dual stage. They all have this little dual stage foam, and they should be the exact same size. Let's pull this out. Yeah, same thing there. All right, and these last ones, these are the exciting ones, guys. So I actually personally talked with OGRC when they were uh, designing these. So these are the pin comps. They are 63 by 21s. Okay, and look at this. They're kind of pre-cut. So one of the things that people used to do, well, not used to, it's not like it was that long ago, they would take the pin comps, actually, hold on. So they would take these Injora pin comps. These are the originals. These are uh, 65 by 19s and they would trim them every other row, basically achieving this look. One thing I really like about this tire over these is look at the lugs. They're slightly larger. One of the problems with this tire is the lugs are small and they tend to fold, right? It's, it's a soft compound. You want the tire soft, but the problem is the more soft your tire is, the more you know, soft the lugs that you want to grab onto the rock become. 
So these smaller lugs just kind of, they fold. These pin comps are great. Don't get me wrong. The Endure pin comps, awesome. But these lugs are just a little too small um, to really grip, right? You could argue that a bigger lug would be much more helpful. Another thing, these are fairly narrow. These have flubber stuffers in them, so they're kind of wide. I think I've got some wider than normal flubber stuffers in here, not the proper ones, so it kind of widens the tire out a little bit. Um, maybe not ideal, but these are pretty narrow, right? These are 19s? Yeah, these are 19 millimeters wide, um, but the OGRC pin comps are 21, so you have an extra 2 millimeters of width, right? And look at that. So you have extra tread, a little bit extra tread. Again, the wider lug, and they're not quite as tall. They're a little bit smaller. These are 65s. These guys are 63s, so 2 millimeters shorter, okay? So a 65 versus a 63, and a 21 versus a 19. Now, it seemed like a lot of people were asking for something a little smaller than these guys because these guys are pretty big, and Enjora delivered. They came out with these guys. Let's open this up. And these little guys are the mini pens, okay? They're 55 by 20. So they're just like the big guys, but they're a lot smaller in diameter, and they are just a little bit wider. What's funny is these came out after these came out. If you notice, look at the lugs. Look how tiny those lugs are. And this is super soft compound as well, right? They're very similar in their, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same compound, really. But these tiny little lugs, which, by the way, if you wanted to cut them, would be a real pain. Um, <laughs> they're just going to be too soft, right? They're just going to fold over. And I've talked to a few guys that have been running these on their, their comps, and uh, they just say that the, the, the lugs are just a little too soft. You just don't grip. So it depends on what you're trying to crawl on as well. I mean, obviously not every tire works on every terrain. So the kind of rocks you're crawling on, maybe these are the best. Um, what I really like about the OGRCs is you get the width of these guys, right? Just a little bit wider, actually. And you get the diameter of these guys because you, you, you want a larger diameter. You just don't want to go too large, right? And uh, so it's like right between the two. And you've got these big fat lugs that are pre-cut, just like everybody does. You have to spend time pre-cutting these and risk ruining a tire by cutting it. And uh, yeah, it gives you the ability to have these thicker lugs. So that was one of the things I really impressed uh, upon them is I was like, you know, we gotta have something a little bit smaller than this because that's what everybody was asking for. A little smaller, need bigger lugs, pre-cut the lugs. And that's exactly what they did. And then what do you know? And Jordan comes out the little mini pins. So kind of funny. Anyway, we're gonna run all these. We've got a set of mini pins, actually two sets of mini pins. We've got two sets of these guys. Um, we've got our regular pins. So maybe at some point we'll do a compare video Again, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know if that video comes. And uh, then we've got these guys that we're going to throw on some rigs. Again, these uh, pin cops here, they come with foams, dual foams. And they, these are the same compound as these guys. They're just as sticky. Well, they've been sitting out a little bit, but yes, they're just as sticky. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's stuck. And that's a sticky tire. So they come with foams. They are a little different. They're larger, obviously larger diameter, a little bit thicker foam on both the interior foams and the exterior foams. Wish they would have put these thicker ones here and got even thicker on there, but whatever. We will um, probably end up putting some flubber stuffers in these guys when we run these because that's uh, kind of the standard now is flubber stuffers. Man, these are gonna be awesome. I'm super excited for these. So keep an eye out for the videos when we run these. And the Endure foam, since we're looking at them, they're just regular old foams. Nothing too special there. I guess while we're in here talking about OGRC tires, we got some OGRC wheels. Uh, these are a set that's been around for a while. We might have actually shown these at one point, but we liked them enough to buy another. And uh, then we got these guys. So I'm going to open these up and show you. Look at how deep these are. They sit right to the back. They are deep, deep, deep dish, guys. That is sick. So actually, I'm gonna open these up too. Only because I wanna be able to compare and show you guys kind of the difference. Okay. They are the same width. The inner barrel is wider. So I can show you that. You can see that? A little bit wider barrel but what makes them really look deep is this so again there's your normal there's your deep right 
look, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but look at how deep it is. And it's because it sits all the way to the rear. So these are super high offset. Um, and then you add your, your hex hub essentially on the back. So you have a lot of offset with these. So you are gonna have a little bit more front end wheel scrub for steering, right? Um, ideally with the front end, you want your wheels to be as over the hub that's turning, the turning point as possible, right? You kind of want them to turn like this. When you have a high offset, they turn like this, right? Which means that you could rub more on your body, things of that nature. It's more work for the servo. So that is one of the concerns with these. But again, if you're looking for that deep dish look, it's, you're going to have that anyway. So there's no getting around that. Um, so these are definitely cool for how deep they are. These might look awesome on like the monster truck, right? <sighs> could be pretty sweet. So these should look pretty cool once we get all the hardware in there. Um, both of these are pretty cool. Actually, I've got a set of these. I'll show you real quick. Funny enough, the other set that we're running doesn't have the hardware in it. We kind of like to look without the hardware. So that's kind of funny. Um, running on the Cayman. Check out the video on the Cayman over here. I also have the 6x6. Check that out over here. Anyway, guys, we're going to put links in the description to all this stuff so you can find it. If you don't mind using those links, if you're going to purchase any of this stuff, it's awesome. We get a small percentage. It's an affiliate link, and it helps the channel out quite a bit, um, and it doesn't cost you anything. So use the links below if you're going to buy anything you see in any of our videos. We greatly appreciate it. And here I figure I'll show you uh, what they look like next to some mudslingers. These are pretty popular tall tire. They're almost the exact same size. Also, here's some stock Traxxas TRX4. These are the Defender tires. So just to kind of compare... So if you want something a little bit smaller, there's these guys. If you want something bigger and more competitive, there's these guys. They're almost the same width. I don't know what the width and size on these guys are. You can measure it real quick, I guess. Looks like we're right around 56, 55, and yeah, 56. 56 by... 24s? Yeah, we'll call it 24s. 65 by 24 on the stock Defender. So if you're looking to run some TRX4 tires, these could be good options. Uh, if you want something just a little bit smaller, sometimes people want a little bit smaller, depending on what they're doing, or you can go comp style with these guys. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Why don't you put down in the comments below SS Compound, because that's what these have, the Super Sticky Compound. SS compound and then uh, yeah make sure you like subscribe share hit that notification bell do all those things you do at the end of a video that you you like and uh yeah we'll see you guys next time meet out there build something awesome <laughs>